Okay, so I'm going to be sinew wrapping a couple of arrows here. I should probably already be chewing on the sinew, but I wanted to show you how to process it. This is just a piece that I've already shredded off and um, twist it there in the middle. Use your fingernails to separate it in half. And then that's how you split sinew in half. You can get much finer strands uh, that way. Um, you don't constantly having to waste sinew, throw it in the glue pot, and that kind of stuff. You can get much better strands of sinew for uh, wrapping and doing stuff. Pause this while I moisten the sinew. Okay, I've got one of these pieces of sinew in one cheek and one in the other. I've already wrapped this one and it's done. You can see I am not wrapping over the point. Just, come on, not wrapping over the point, just wrapping on the shaft, just to prevent it from splitting. So, we're going to do this one next. Ah, take your sinew, see that it's fully moistened and it is ready to go. Make sure that it is not folded. It's folded it's not gonna lay right you're gonna have a horrible time trying to <laughs> stretch it out and get it to behave there we go those little strands there use those for sewing or throw them in the glue pot whatever you want to do but all I do there we go all I do is I start here at the front just lay it over the top, right at the base of the point. This one's a little sticky. Nice. I just wrap. That's it. It's very, very simple. Wrap tight. Pull it tight. Um, use your fingernail as kind of a guide and to flatten it out while you're wrapping. Um, and try not to go over the same spot twice. Um, the reason for that is because you don't want to create any undulation or bumps in there. You want it to be as smooth as smooth as possible. Other blob of sinew. Lay it on. And thumbnail wrap. See how much wider and flatter that is. Oh man, what in the world? Why is this not in focus? Focus. There we go. Yeah, you can see how much wider and flatter it is than uh, if you were to just kind of try and do it some kind of way. There we go. So that right there is what we're looking for. You can see it's nice and smooth, and there's uh, not a lot of uh, bumps or wiggles in there. And I'll actually go over one more time, just like this, and just lay it down flat even more. And that creates a nice, smooth wrap that's going to be durable. You can see here the two fresh ones laid next to each other. Nice, fresh wrap that's going to be durable. And you're really not looking for that much durability. There's These arrows are single-time use, basically. Or I should say the points are single-time use. And you're going to replace that sinew after each after each hunt traditionally. So that's it. That's the process. Super easy. Probably didn't take a five minute video, but here we are. <laughs> Have fun.